Hello and welcome to my workshop. My name is Paul. I'm a luthier and bow maker based in Tasmania, Australia. In this series, I will share some of the projects I work on each week, giving you a glimpse over my shoulder as I work as though you were looking through the window into my workshop. Okay, so the neck's out, um, that came out quite successfully. Now next thing is to take the top off so that we can uh, look at repairing this uh, sound post crack that's in the back. So the areas of concern are going to be the corners, we don't want to lose the corners um, and there's going to be a fair bit of pressure at the top and the bottom block where uh, there's a large gluing surface. Because we've got access to the top block that with the neck out I'll probably look to start at the top block and work my way around and then the same thing from here I'll look to free it off the top block and work my way around from there um, just with a knife so we'll just uh, get into it angle right so I can see what I'm doing without come around to the corners you need to be extra careful that we're not going to lose the corner so I'll generally come look to coming from behind look to free it off the block and then the corner will just pop up generally without losing it just to We're just starting to catch the grain, the leading edge of the knife, it's very hard to see there, uh, but it's just starting to catch the grain, so I don't really want to go any further with that unless I have to, so I'll see if I can come back from the top block. See, now often, and this instrument has one, there's a little pin through the top here, so we'll either cut that off with the knife, or we'll just see if it'll free around it need to cut it off and you want to cut it off rather than have the top split around it I 
can be stopping the knife from going too far all at once. From moving, you've got to put a fair bit of pressure on it. Um, it does leave your finger fairly marked. There is a fair amount of force going into it, but you need to make sure it's controlled so you don't slip too quickly if the glue wants to let go. So that's not a great way to do it because it's going to... There's a lot of it that's a feel thing. You can feel the glue letting go and cracking. You can hear it cracking as you go along. And that's that nature of the hide glue to to shear under pressure rather than losing the breaking the timber grain. The glue itself is quite brittle. It's with uh, with your PVA glues and, and, and your modern wood glues, they're quite stringy, especially when they're dry. They're almost sort of stretchy and they, they cling to the fibres of the wood. Let's see if we can get this to work our way through. This side is actually going to lead with the front edge of the blade so that I can direct it underneath the wood grains because we've got the timber grain coming, the long grains coming down the side here. They're likely, as we did here, it started picking up the grain where the grain edges, the grains are running over the edge of the top. They actually start to flick into the knife. So I'm going to use the leading edge of the knife rather than coming at it from this side. And come at it from this way and just look to lead the blade into where I want it to open. on the inside so that's as far as we're going to go that side Hopefully, let's see what's showing on here. And that's the top block. That's the bottom block let go. And you should just be able to see there it's punched through the... Uh, the pin at the bottom here is just, just popped through, so that should leave that in the top block, in the bottom block. That's the 
bottom part off. Lever up around that pin. Like so. Then the tops come free at the same the top blockers come. But at the same time, I'm just going to try and cut through this top pin. Like so. And there we have the top comes off. So we left a small piece behind here. And a little bit here, possibly here, that we'll have to take off and lay back onto the top plate. But overall, that's come off quite cleanly. Um, and we can have a look at this, clean this up on the inside and have a look at this. Uh, crack that we've got in the sound post. Hopefully.